What is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Here we are, beginning of March. We're rolling out. We're going to see some wrestling tonight. We're going to AEW Dynamite, uh, Sacramento, California, my hometown, Golden One Center. This honestly is the first wrestling show that I've been to since uh, AEW Revolution 2020. We had so much fun that week. Uh, they shut the world down after that bad boy. So I'm excited to go out and see some wrestling today. It's my first time. Hey, you're an idiot. You just said you went to Revolution. I was going to say it was my first time going to AEW. But um, it, it's it's been a while. And uh, I, I had the pay-per-view the other day. So I'm excited to see what they do to kick us off in the next direction coming up. So let's get to the show. We're uh, parked and walking on over. Uh, to the Golden One Center. I always park in Old Sack and make the, the five minute walk over to the arena. You just cut through the tunnel, walk through the mall, and boom, you're there. It's probably the easiest place. And I think it's, it's parking's a lot cheaper over here. I'm giving away my uh, million dollar uh, secret, I guess. Going in the tunnel, it goes under the freeway, and then boom, you're at the mall. Technical problems on my part. Technical foul. I don't think a ton of people are going to be here tonight because of the fact that uh, doors open at 3, show starts at 4. Most kids kind of get out of school around 3.30. Look at that good picture I got of fucking pencil. Oh, that's awesome. What's your name, bro? Huh? What's your name, bro? Here is the world winner at 254 pounds. Jericho Appreciation Society. That's my dude right there. From Chico, California,
Trying to kiss on the cheek? Yeah. You see, that's what happens when you're the three best friends that you could ever have in the world, man. You guys wouldn't know that because nobody in Sacramento has any friends. I know you don't have any friends. This guy over here is wearing a lucha mask. You don't want to show your face. You're so ugly, that's why you don't have any friends. Moron over here, the 50 year old man over there, knock your teeth down your damn throat because you don't have no friends. city of San Francisco or, or Sacramento. What do you think? What city is better, Danny? Fight the bees! Fight the bees! I say neither. And why is that, Sammy? Because it's Northern California and y'all suck. It's true, right? You guys can't even get your shit together and go down to LA. You gotta be up here. You guys can't even get your own chant right. What does flick the bean mean? Can you get that? What does light the bean even mean? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna use it in a sentence for you guys. Next week, the sexiest trios group in AEW are gonna win the trio's championships, and we're gonna light the beam. Light the beam! 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 You guys are so desperate to say light the beam to us, because the Sacramento Kings ain't won nothing in 15 stupid years, right? You want to see some real champions? Ain't no Sacramento Kings gonna win your own championship, man! Keep your ticket stubs from tonight. Put them in a frame on the wall. Because this is the night you saw the next AEW Trios Champions! Good night to you, dumb dumb idiots!
What is up everybody? Secret Breach coming to you here, rolling down the freeway on my way home. I had a blast at AEW Dynamite, um, AEW Rampage. Um, the night just went a little bit longer. Um, it was a fun night. Like I said, my first night of wrestling since um, 2020. A lot of the people that sat around me went to all the San Francisco shows. They went to the uh, Dynamite as well as the uh, the pay-per-view in Oakland. Um, I got lucky. I got really lucky. Um, people from my, my, my older videos, I don't think we've gone to a show together in a while. I really honestly can't remember the last time, but uh, I was sitting in my seats in the 100 section. Um, they, they were good seats. They, they were in the hundreds. They were row A, so first row, looking right at the ramp. I'm sure if I would have sat there, would have had a ton of fun. Um, but my, my buddy Mario, who lives here in Sacramento, sent me a message. He said that there was an extra ticket down on the floor on the ramp. I will tell you honestly, as far as like room, worst seats I ever sat in. But it was a it was a childhood dream, a lot like Shawn Michaels, the boyhood dream of WrestleMania 12. Um, I was sitting uh, on the floor, I believe I was row three, seat two, I was sticking my hand out there, I was, I was high-fiving the wrestlers, um, like I said, I didn't have a lot of room, it was almost like if there was, if there was ten seats in that row, it was almost like there was uh, twelve people uh, sitting in it, you had to like, I had to put one cheek and one leg down, and then almost like kind of cross my legs in the seat to be able to sit down uh, and not, not not stand up the whole time blocking the view. Um, but but it was really awesome. I can honestly tell you that uh, watching the show, I wish I watched AEW um, a little bit more. Um, I get all the pay-per-views. I, I watch as many of the big matches that come up uh, when people talk about them and say something is must-see. But um, there, there, was, there was people on there that I, that I didn't know. There was people out there doing things that I didn't understand why they were doing it. Um, but, but to see the big names, to see wrestling, um, it was a blast. One hell of a show. It was, it was a great time. Um, Powerhouse Hobbs became the TNT champion. He beat Wardlow. Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, nothing really big happened. I liked the uh, orange... Um, Cassidy versus uh, Jay Lethal match. That, that one was fun. I was cheering for Jay Lethal the whole time to be able to see Jeff Jarrett in 2023. That was one hell of a time right there. Um, that's a dude right there. I love that dude. Um, but uh, fun times. Hope you all uh, had a blast watching an old school day in the life video. Um, I, I didn't get a bunch of footage because I was trying to live in the moment the best that I could. I didn't take a lot of pictures. But um, like I said, childhood boyhood dream. Reaching the hand out there, getting a high five. It was like every single time you ever went to a show back in the day, you just wished that it just happened to be you sitting in that seat. Um, seems like, my, like that's where a lot of my friends like to sit now is to make sure they got ramp seats. A lot of them like to take pictures and stuff like that, like Victor, Mario, and them, they just got hooked on them. So that might be the place to be. I'll tell you the truth. I think I would want to sit somewhere else on the floor. I'd sit third row almost anywhere else to get a little bit more leg room because it just felt like it was cramped over there. I don't know if there was more people sitting in that, in that row. And like I said, I didn't have a seat to sit there. I didn't have a ticket to sit there. I never saw the ticket. Maybe I was the guy that was taking up an extra room, but I don't know. Good times, man. Peace out. Mario, thank you very much. Victor, great to see you. Awesome to see everybody else. Peace out, guys.